bloop, 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 bloop. This is a very satisfying way to move a cube. Let's see how to do that in Unity. We start with a regular cube and we add a script to it. In it, we write a roll coroutine that contains a while loop to rotate the cube 90 degrees. Here, we compute the angle of rotation by multiplying the delta time by a speed variable that we make public. Then we rotate the cube by that angle, update the remaining angle, and return null to continue the execution at the next frame. And we don't forget to call the roll coroutine every time we press the right arrow key. If we try our code, it's not great. The cube is rotating around its center, but we want to rotate it along its edge. So we go back to our code to change a few things. We add a new variable to store the center of rotation. When moving right, it should be here. So it's the cube's position plus half a unit to the right plus half a unit downward. We add another variable to store the axis of rotation. In this case, it's the Z axis, which we can write as vector3.back. And we use the rotate around method to rotate the cube around its edge. Now the cube rotates properly, but wait, what? There are some issues that we need to fix. First, we shouldn't be able to start rolling when we are in the middle of a roll. So we add an is moving flag to prevent that. Second, the cube often rotates slightly more than expected. So we edit the loop to make sure the angle of rotation can never be greater than the angle remaining. Great, now it's working. The last step is to handle all directions. So we need to refactor our code a little. We add a new parameter to the roll coroutine called direction. We update the center of rotation by replacing vector3.write by the new direction parameter. We also need to update the axis of rotation. If we think about it, the axis will always be perpendicular to the direction parameter and the y axis. So we can compute it with a cross product like this. Finally, when any arrow key is pressed, we call the roll coroutine with the appropriate direction. And that's it. We can roll our cube in all directions. If you enjoyed this short video, please press the like button. And if you want to learn more about Unity, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.